What's up, Outsiders? I'm here at my favorite local park, and I'm gonna show you how to use Avenza Maps on the trail. I'm Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside, and if you do too, you're gonna to wanna to click that subscribe button. And if you find value in this video, be sure to click that like button. I've created a couple of Venza videos showing the basic usage of Avenza and one that's a little bit more advanced to create some custom maps and import them into Avenza. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll be sure to link them in the description. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the features that you would typically use while hiking on the trail. The first thing we need to do is actually load a map onto Avenza. And the free version of Avenza allows you to load three maps simultaneously. The paid version, it's an unlimited number of maps. As part of the Western New York Hiking Challenge, I provide a QR code to load a map. This is by far the easiest way to get a map into Avenza. First, click on the My Maps icon at the bottom. Then click the plus sign at the top to add the map. For the challenge, you can just scan the QR code. If you do not have two devices, I also provide the URL to the map at the end of the challenge packet. Just copy and paste the URL, click the plus like before, and select tap to enter a URL of the map and copy it in there. And if you're not in the Western York Hiking Challenge, you can add a map from the Avenza store. They offer several free and paid maps, or you can create your own like I showed in one of my Avenza videos. Now that we have the map loaded, we can hit the trails. The first thing I wanna show is the map view. This is the default view of Avenza. And you'll notice when you hop into this view, at the bottom left, there's an arrow. And this is your compass icon. Right now, the arrow is just an outline. So if you press that arrow once, it updates your location. And now if you press that arrow a second time, it orients the map in the direction of travel. You'll also notice that the blue dot now has an arrow at the top. This corresponds to the top of your phone and your direction of travel. So you can actually move around and you can see how that direction of travel and the orientation of the map moves with you. So this is a great way to decide if you come to a trail junction, if you need to go left or right or straight. Navigating around Avenza Maps is very similar to Google Maps or other mapping applications. One finger allows you to pan the map around. One finger tap will zoom you in. A two finger tap will zoom you out and you can use two fingers to rotate the map around, and then you can also use the pinch and expand to zoom in and zoom out of the map. So you can see we navigated away from the parking lot, but I really wanted to drop a place mark there so I can navigate back to it. And to do that, it's the icon next to the compass arrow. It looks like a pin, and the pin gets dropped wherever the target is. So I'm gonna just scroll to where we are right now, and I'm gonna just drop a pin and it brings up this dialog box. We can rename it, we'll call it parking. And I'm gonna make it a blue pin for now. And that's not quite what we want. It's not at the parking lot. So what I'm gonna do is just zoom in. And if you hold your finger, you can see you can move that pin and I'm gonna place it right where the parking lot is. So this is the really powerful part of Avenza is this now becomes a layer. And to access that layer, it's next to the coordinates. It's the pin with the lines, the hamburger lines there. We're gonna click that, that's our, our map features. And you can see it created a brand new layer. And we can actually delete this layer or modify this layer from here. We can just delete it by swiping. I'm gonna not delete it because I wanna keep it in there. And then we can go to it on the map and you can actually go back and modify any of the settings by clicking the info button. And you can see you can add a picture, update the title, whatever you need to do. Final features of this map view is under the ellipses. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different tools there. You can draw and measure, record a GPS track, navigate to a destination, find coordinates, open the view in Google Maps, which is kind of a neat feature. If I click that, it'll open up where I'm located in Google Maps. Go back over to that. And you can also plot some photos. We'll show that later. So I also want to track my hike. Probably should have turned it on at the parking lot, but we're not too far away. There's two ways you can actually go about turning this on. You can click the ellipses and click record GPS tracks, or you can swipe up and you can see it brings up a compass that shows your, your course. And it also will show your bearing if you're actually navigating to something and your location. But I'm gonna click over to the tracking tab and you can see I can start tracking. I'm just gonna click that on and we're tracking and then I can swipe down to get back to my map. It'll minimize that way 
or you can minimize it all the way down and then just flip it up and you can pause or stop your tracking right from that menu. So what's important about this is this is also a layer that's gonna add to the map features button. So if I look on here, I now have a parking pin as a feature, as a place mark, and now I also have a track. And just like the parking feature, I can delete the track right from here and then manipulate the name and other things within the track. So we're gonna continue on the path and uh, we're gonna to come to a trail junction and show you how to use that compass feature. Okay, so we've arrived at a trail junction here and I don't know which way to go. So I'm gonna pull up my Avenza maps. Uh, you can see the arrow isn't filled in, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and update my location. And now I'm gonna actually tap that arrow a second time so I get that compass view of the blue, air, blue dot. And uh, I'm gonna move my body around. There's a trail going off this way, which heads down to the creek. That's not the trail I wanna take. I actually wanna go this direction and head towards the waterfall. So as you can see, it's a really handy feature to figure out which direction you need to go on the trail. So this is a beautiful overlook at this park, but this isn't my final destination. I actually wanna to go to the lower waterfalls here. And as part of the challenge, I provide GPS coordinates to all of the landmarks I take hikers to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually set up a Venza to navigate me to that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swipe up and I'm gonna go over to the navigation tab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter coordinates and I'm gonna paste those in and I'm gonna click navigate. And you can see now my navigation turns into a compass and you can see I have a bearing. So the blue arrow is the direction of that waterfall. So we're gonna head over to that waterfall. One thing I also wanna point out, I'm gonna update my location so you can see where I am on the map. You can see it does a line of sight as the bird flies to that waterfall. You can also see that my track has been updated and I can see information about that track just like I do on the place mark, it's a layer. So let's head over to that waterfall. Okay, so we've arrived at another trail junction and we're really close to the waterfall. If I update my location on the map, you can see that the navigation line, the blue line, is pointing to the waterfall, and we're right at a trail junction. So let me zoom in just a little bit here. And like before, I'm gonna click that compass arrow twice, and I'm gonna orient my phone to see which direction I need to go down. And based on that blue line and the trail, it looks like I need to go that way. Also, if I bring my navigation up, you can see my bearing, the blue arrow, also wants me to take the trail going down towards the creek and hopefully the waterfall. Okay, we made it to our landmark, the waterfall. Beautiful. So now what I wanna do is, the picture I just took, I wanna actually add that to my map. So I'm gonna switch over to Avenza, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit those ellipses, do plot photos. And you notice it brings up a bunch of photos here, couple with me with a fish, you can see my wife there. So it's actually geolocating the photos in my photo library for this location. But I'm just gonna add the waterfall and click import. And you notice it says, one photo place marks added. So that created a layer for that photo. So if I go over to my layers, you can see I have a photo library and now I have a place mark in there. And I can edit that place mark. You know, I might want to call it waterfall. 
and now it is a layer that I could actually navigate to or come back to. And you know, I can manipulate it the same way I did before. I can swipe and delete it. But that's a really cool way to capture the photos in your travels. And you can actually do that after the fact because if you have your camera set to record the GPS location of the photo, Avenza is smart enough to geolocate it on your trip. So now that we made it to the waterfall, we want to get back to the parking lot. We can just follow the trail, we can follow the track that we had, or we can actually use that pin that we set at the parking lot and just give us a navigation back. So I'm going to swipe up, and now instead of navigating to coordinates, I'm going to navigate to a feature. So I'm going to click that, I'm going to go to the layer, and I'm going to select the parking lot. So now you can see if I wanted to take a straight line bushwhack to the parking lot, it gives me that. And you can also notice that the compass gives me that blue dot, or the blue arrow rather, for the bearing that I need to take to the parking lot. So we're just going to hike back the same trail and uh, get back to the parking lot. All right, we made it back to the parking lot. And uh, one thing you want to always do is turn off tracking. So many times I've gotten in my car and forgot to turn it off on the way home and it kind of ruins the whole data system of, of hiking. So make sure you turn it off. So what we're going to do is swipe all the way up and we're going to stop tracking. And yes, we want to stop. And that turns it off. Now what you can actually do with your track is if you click on the track, and go to the info button. Uh, you can name the track if you wanted to for the location you're at. Um, add any photos at this time and it'll place them on the track. But another cool feature of Avenza is if you want to see the data of your hike, you click on the show graph part and you can see it shows the graph of the different things of speed and elevation. And then you can see your start time, running time, average speed, min and max elevation all the things you would expect from a, a GPS watch or other trackers. Uh, but Avenza, super cool app. I love it. I love the offline map capabilities of it. And now you can see it has a full featured suite of things that you can do on the trail as you're hiking. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you want to see other how to's, gear reviews and outdoor adventures, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. I'll see you guys outside.